Sam Carr here for golfing with quite a unique and interesting drill using our shadow. Now this drill is particularly useful for those players who perhaps sway too much on their backswing and move far too radically into their trail side or indeed those players who stay too much into their lead side on the backswing and perhaps look like this as a right hand player and then they've got a back up and all sorts of things. So how on earth can we use our shadow to improve these areas of our game? Well, let's take a look. Golfers, I've placed three golf balls on the ground, all in different positions on my shadow. I've got one at the top, which is in the middle of my head, a second ball, which is on my left hip, and a third ball, which is on my right hip. If I'm a player who sways too much into my trail side, as I make that sway, you'll see that the shadow has come away from the ball that was on my left hip and in the center of my head. If I'm a player who stays too much into my lead foot, the opposite happens. So again, the shadow has moved away from the ball at the top and on my right hip. In an ideal world, what we want to feel is that the shadow remains over each of the three golf balls. So when you make a backswing, the shadow remains over the golf balls where my hips are and the ball at the top remains in the center of my head. There you have it golfers. Who'd have thought that using your shadow could be such an effective way to improve your backswing. Don't forget to follow Golfing on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Stay safe, stay active and happy golfing.